Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So last night, on the most recent Dokkan Now program, they revealed to us this year's Saiyan Day unit, which is going to be this absolutely insane Int Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. And you can actually refer to my boy Sho's face in the top right corner to get a good idea of how most of the Dokkan community feels about this unit, because he is just amazing in every single way. You know, his animations, his offense, his defense, his active skill. Okay, actually the active skill was uh, a little iffy. Not the animation, but more so the voice line, right? They changed the voice actor. It's no longer the original Broly voice actor, and a lot of people are not a huge fan of the new guy. I get it. It doesn't sound the best, but I think it was okay, and at the very least, Broly has an English voice line now, so I'll take what I can get, okay? But uh, anyways, aside from that one minor issue, everything else about this unit is just perfect to me. So the plan is to go very deep into his banner. We're definitely going to be doing the initial stream when his banner drops, and at least two three-way collabs. So a lot of summoning content on the way. Look forward to that. But uh, for today's video, I thought it would be kind of fun to do a little, you know, predicting and give you guys my opinion about what I think the Int Broly's banner is going to look like when it drops in about two days from now. Now, obviously, I have no idea what the actual banner will be, um, but that's also part of the fun, right? Like when the banner drops, we can come back to this video and see how close I actually was or how wrong I actually was. So, uh, yeah, with all that said, let's just jump right into it. And uh, we're going to pop over to DBZ Space right now and take a look first at the previous Saiyan Day banners. This one is from last year with the AGL Bardock. And scrolling down to the bottom here, you can see there were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 featured SSRs. They're all Dokkan Fest exclusive units. And there is a general theme going on here, right? I mean, it's basically either pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans. And everybody here is part of... Uh, Bardock's lineage, or is Bardock himself. We got the ATL Bardock, we got the Int Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, and then we have Raditz, we have the LR Gobros, his grandsons, Int Kid Goku, his son, um, Fizz Future Gohan, and also the AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Now, obviously, there is one minor exception here, which is, of course, the tech Frieza, but he does kind of fit the theme of the banner since it was, uh, let's say, Bardock's nemesis, right? So there's the banner. We got eight SSRs, and I kind of forgot just how mediocre this banner was. I mean, overall, it's not really that great of a banner. I mean, maybe back last year, even last year, I think a lot of these units were very old, right? So um, all things considered, not the greatest banner, and for that reason, I'm not expecting too much from this year's Saiyan Day banner as well, but I do think it's gonna be better than this one was when it dropped last year, all right? Now, moving back to even one year before that, we had the uh, Fizz Transforming Vegeta banner for Saiyan Day two years ago. And taking a look at this banner, once again, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven SSRs this time. Okay, so this banner had seven, but as you can see, it doesn't have a Dokkan Fest LR. I think that's the reason why last year's banner had eight SSRs because the LR Gobros were there. Okay, so for this year, I do still expect eight SSRs, but uh, yeah, going back to this banner here, seven SSRs in total. We have the new Fizz Transforming Vegeta. We have the new side unit Int Super Vegeta, and then the rest of the banner was either other Vegetas or just a few other Saiyans. And once again, man, this banner wasn't the greatest, it seems, when it came out. But uh, yeah, those were the last two Saiyan Day banners. And with these banners in mind, let's jump into my prediction for this year's Saiyan Day banner. Now, I think the first couple of units are going to be pretty obvious. I feel like they have a very high chance of being on the banner. It's mainly the last two or three units that are a bit of a toss-up right now, okay? So, uh, obviously, we're gonna have the new Int Legendary Super Saiyan Broly on the banner. And for anybody that missed yesterday's video, I'm gonna quickly go over his details here, all right? So his leader skill is Planetary Destruction, 
brand new category, or movie bosses. Key plus 3, HP plus 130%, and attack and defense plus 170%. Its super attack raises attack and defense, infinitely stacking, and causes immense damage. And its passive is key plus 3, attack and defense plus 180%, reduces damage received by 18%, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 18%. Launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, and then plus an additional key plus 3 and launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack and reduces damage received by 18% and chance of performing a critical hit plus 18% within the same turn after performing a super attack when there is a pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans category enemy. So you're getting this part unconditionally and then you're getting this part if you're facing a pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans enemy. And then his active skill is key plus 6, attack plus 60%, and attacks effective against all types for one turn, and can be activated after performing 4 or more super attacks in battle once only. His links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, The Saiyan Lineage, Berserker, Prepare for Battle, Heart and Grudge, and Fierce Battle. And his categories are Movie Bosses, Pure Saiyans, Full Power, uh, Target Goku, Exploding Rage, Inhuman Deeds, and Planetary Destruction. So... There you go, guys. Um, I think you can probably tell why so many people are super high on this Broly. I mean, he is going to be hitting insanely, insanely hard. He's going to be getting a ton of defense in addition to damage reduction. He's going to be stacking attack and defense every single turn with the ability to super up to four times per turn. So in theory, he could stack attack and defense four times every single turn of course it's not super likely but on average he's gonna get at least like two or three supers right and then his active skill is also very very powerful so uh yeah there's the broly he is obviously going to be on the banner and then the other unit that is guaranteed to be on the banner is this uh str super saiyan team trunks with a unit super attack or partner super attack when you have a youth gohan on rotation so his leader skill is Hyper Saiyan's category key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 120%, super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, and causes supreme damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy, but his unit super attack greatly raises attack for one turn, raises defense, and causes immense damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy, and it can be activated when there is a youth Gohan in rotation. Its passive is attack and defense plus 200%, medium chance of launching an additional super attack, hyper saiyans category allies key plus 3, attack and defense plus 40%. Super simple passive, but it works, and it's extremely good, so I'm okay with it. And his links are messenger from the future, super saiyan, cold warrior, or sorry, golden warrior, cold judgment, royal lineage, ismal future, and fierce battle. And categories are Hyper Saiyans, Future Saga, Time Travelers, Movie Heroes, Vegeta's Family, Super Saiyans, Bond of Master and Disciple, and Battle of Wits. So yeah, these are the two new units, the Broly plus the side unit trunks. Now for the rest of the banner, I think these next few units are highly, highly likely, mainly because they're just the other Dokkan Festival exclusive Brolies, right? So we have the Fizz uh, Super Saiyan Broly from the Dragon Ball Super movie. We have the Fizz Legendary Super Saiyan Broly, the EZA one, and we also have the EZA Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly. I'm not a huge fan of this unit. He's not bad by any means, he just could have been so much better, especially when we see like some of the most recent 120% lead EZAs, right? But uh, he's still a Broly nonetheless, he's still a Dokkan Fest exclusive, so I think he's gotta be here. And that puts us at 5 out of the 8 SSRs, right? Now, I do think there's going to be a Dokkan Festival um, LR on the banner this year. Last year, we had the LR Go Bros. This year, we're going to be getting the LR Blue Boys. Their first return to both sides of the game. And uh, this would also mean that they'll be available in the Baba Shop for red coins. So if you guys really want them and can't pull them, then that's also an option, right? Now, obviously, this is not guaranteed. And I don't want to get people too excited in case it doesn't happen, but it just makes sense, you know? Like, it's been a long time since they released, especially on JP, and uh, they're both pure Saiyans, it's Saiyan Day, 
there was an LR last year, there should be an LR this year, and this is the one that makes the most sense, so I think the LR Blue Boys are definitely likely to be on this year's Saiyan Banner, or Saiyan Day Banner, but uh, we'll have to see. Alright, so that's 6 out of 8 now. And for the last two, this was a little bit difficult because there were so many options. And initially, I was like, maybe, maybe if they wanted to be really nice, they would give us the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. But then I thought, nah, they're not that kind. You know, like they wouldn't give us the LR Go Bros or the LR Blue Boys and also Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. In fact, I feel like the Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta has a much better chance of being on this banner than the Int one. And if you look back at some of the past Saiyan Day banners, they haven't really been that good, right? So having the Int Gogeta here, I think would just be too much. And after giving it a lot of thought, I decided to settle on a compromise, which would be this guy, the AGL Super Saiyan Gogeta from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. Now, of course, he's not bad, by any means, he's actually still quite amazing, it's just that he's lost a lot of his shine because he is relatively old now, but I think he still makes a lot of sense because obviously they're okay with having fusions on the Saiyan Day banners, and uh, he goes along with the Fizz uh, full power Broly here because they're from the same movie, right? So um, I think AGL Gogeta is a pretty good pick in my opinion. This one I'm not super confident about, but I think he has a decent chance, okay? So that's 7 out of 8 now, and finally, for this last unit, this one was extra hard, but ultimately I decided to settle on AGL Terrorless for a number of reasons, okay? Number one, he follows the movie boss's theme as some of the other Broly's. Number two, he is, of course, a Saiyan, and number three, he hasn't been featured in a very long time. I mean, I did my research, I looked back at a bunch of the other banners that we've had this year and last year, and I'm pretty sure the last time he was properly featured on a new Dokkan Fest banner was the Android 13 banner from like March of last year. I mean, I could be wrong, I might have missed something in between, but I did double check and the only banner I could find him featured on within the last year was the Android 13 banner. So I think it's time for Turles to make a return and obviously a lot of newer players could still benefit from pulling him. He is still one of the uh, best support units in the entire game giving all types key plus 3, attack plus 40% and uh, he's actually very very impressive now because we have LR Turles. This guy linked up with the LR Turles makes for a very powerful rotation. So for anybody that pulled the LR Turles and doesn't have the AGL Turles, you definitely want the AGL Turles. Okay, so that is my final pick. Uh, I know some people are going to have opinions about this, but I'm feeling pretty good about this one too. And just to summarize, my Broly banner will include AGL Turles, uh, AGL Super Saiyan Gogeta, not this guy, I wish, but not this guy, uh, the LR Blue Boys, the Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly, the Fizz Legendary Super Saiyan Broly, the Fizz Super Saiyan Broly from Dragon Ball Super, and uh, also the STR Super Saiyan Teen Trunks, and the Int uh, Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. So there you go guys, that is my prediction for this year's Saiyan Day banner. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? And if you have your own predictions, then feel free to let me know in the comments as well. And uh, we'll find out for sure within the next two days when the same day banner, you know, officially drops. Look forward to the stream, the collabs, all that good stuff. And uh, that's it, guys. That's all I got to say for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And... If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.